Okay, welcome to uh, another Vampire.net video. Uh, this is a bit different than normal uh, videos, uh, but maybe a bit more common to the unboxing video I did last week. Um, today the video is not about unboxing, but about these two things, and I'll get back to them later and I'll tell you exactly what they are. Um, last week I was complaining in the unboxing video that I had to hold the camera like this, do something else with my other hand or switch it the other way around. Uh, and I actually need two hands to unbox something. Uh, in my case it was a, a pair of brochures. And then I remembered that I actually have a headband for my GoPro. So I'm currently looking at the GoPro. That's also the reason why everything is uh, really uh, uh, wide at the moment. And you can actually see my living room and, you know, it's like that. So anyway, to get back to uh, these two things. Uh, last year I won this one in the Wasabi Cars uh, giveaway uh, for Patreons. So if you're a Patreon, uh, please do support uh, Wasabi Cars there. Daniel Grady is doing a really good job there and I really want to support him doing that, pay for his tickets whenever he goes and visits uh, some other town or some other car show and pay for his petrol getting there or the bus ticket. He does an awesome job and I really think he deserves that. So he has a monthly giveaway and uh, the monthly giveaway somewhere last year was this book. And the book here has a snail on it, which is a sign of, I think the car that featured in that video, uh, which was a Cedric ambulance. Um, and actually here it says like something with shaken, shaken something. Shaken short. Um, but anyway, uh, the, uh, as you probably know, shaken means like uh, the, your your uh, legal legality of your car in Japan. So it's like the MOT in the UK or APK in the Netherlands. Uh, so it really uh, is supposed to carry things like the papers for your car, which mine are here. Um, that brings me to the subject of this. Why haven't I put this? in there yet because these are all the, the necessary duck papers the reason is simple i put this in my glove glove compartment and the glove compartment uh, or the glove box uh, i never open it so i never took this one out and took the effort to put everything in here um, until i received this earlier this week which is like uh, it tells me like uh, the, the insurance is expiring somewhere near here uh, I think here it says like yeah 30th of April 2016 so I got a new one uh, for the next year and then I thought like hey, hey I need to fetch this anyway from the Karina let's just put everything in here like I'm supposed to so in addition to this booklet i also received my wasabi car stickers i bought two of them and i think daniel put in an extra one for me well, really appreciate it thanks uh there's the sticker with a snail and it's the same or similar snail as this one um so it belongs to to the booklet and he also gave me these two and these two are uh, related to the guys he's hanging out with at some of the um, uh, Kyushu car shows uh, the Zokusha guys so I think one of them has a 240Z and there's another one who has uh, the orange uh, Hakuska and there are a couple of more of them and I'll probably cut in uh, this somewhere here in the background I don't, I... so Anyway, he, he gave me these stickers in addition to that. He was already planning to do that anyway. Uh, really appreciate it, Daniel. Really appreciate it. Many thanks for that, yet again. I thank you last year. I'm thanking you uh, once again this year. Uh, so it's time to put in everything from here into here. And since, of course, this is like a Japanese booklet, everything has to go in reverse order because they read everything the other way around. Um, this piece of paper in the Netherlands is uh, one of the three parts that uh, belong to a car 
belong to the license plate. So this one actually tells uh, the police uh, everything they need to know about the car, the weight, the, the capacity of the engine, the number of cylinders, uh, the output of the engine. Uh, it also gives you information when it was first registered and when it was first registered in the Netherlands. Um, then here we have a couple of the MOT or APK reports. Last year nothing was wrong and it's valid until 2017. So I have another year of MOT or APK. Um, this is the old insurance. I've got my new insurance here, so it's gone. A new one goes in. And the last one, this is uh, the second part of the license, which tells you who registered it uh, at what time. And I'm zooming in, it's on the 7th of the 7th, 2007. So that's 7th uh, of July, 2007 when I bought the car. Uh, so I nicknamed my Carina the Lucky 7 because I really think it's uh, deserving that name. Uh, and that's it. I don't need this anymore. Let's get rid of it. There, it's gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's it. I have my booklet. I'm going to stuff this into the glove compartment. Uh, it's something unique, something uh, you probably never find another one in the world except if you're going to Kyushu and uh, uh, talk to the right persons. So many thanks for that, Daniel. Many thanks. And thank you for watching and see you next time.